Hey, Todd Wolf here, and I'm back with another video editing tip. And today we're going to talk about Title Safe. So first off, what is title safe? Well, it's an old broadcast television term describing the area on old televisions where it was safe to put titles and important action. Now with today's modern televisions, people will tell you that you really don't need to worry about title safe because you can see everything on the screen from edge to edge. Well, Todd, I don't need to worry about title safe because everybody watches my stuff on their phone. Oh, my bad. Well, let me just turn this off then, sorry. What? No. See, here's the deal. Title safe isn't just there for old televisions. There's actually reasons to use them today. You do not know where people are going to be watching your content. Sure, it might be on a phone. Sure, it might be on a television. It might be on an old television. It might be on a computer screen. You just don't know where they're going to be watching it. Another thing you don't know is how they have those devices set up. We've all been to people's houses where they have their television set weirdly where it's cropping it or it has a refresh rate where it makes their movies look like video games. Um. And when it comes to YouTube videos, people aren't just watching them on their computer or their phone. People are watching on their televisions. I recently got an update to my Comcast cable box where I have an app for YouTube. And that's where I started seeing videos getting cropped on the edges. Videos I watch all the time, creators that I really enjoy, but their text and their important information is getting cropped off on the edges. So I would tell you to utilize TitleSafe to a certain degree. Now let's dig a little deeper into what TitleSafe is. Most of your editing programs out there will have some sort of function to show you where title safe is on your screen. So the inner box is called title safe. Surprisingly, that's where you put your text and your titles. The outer box is what they call action safe, and that's where you would want to have your important action taking place. So that sounds easy enough, but what I will tell you is that with modern televisions and modern viewing devices, I feel that it's okay to put your titles all the way out to the action safe. Now, if you're doing broadcast television, commercial spots, and things like that, I would still adhere to the tried and true title safe, but if you're strictly doing YouTube videos, I think it's okay to utilize the space all the way out to the edge on the action safe. But that's not the only reason that I like to use the title safe boundaries. It really helps to create balance on the screen. If you start jamming things in the corners, it really can make your frame look undesirable and not really flattering to your subject on the screen. So whether it's pictures, logos, or text, I always try to put the things on screen in a balanced way so that it complements the subject. And these title safe boundaries really give me a great starting point on where to place these things. So utilize the title safe boundaries, not just to keep things from getting cropped, but for a sense of balance and to make your shots look even better. So there you have it. That's why you should be utilizing the title safe boundaries in all of your projects. Now look, for modern media, let me reiterate, I am comfortable pushing text and titles to the action safe border on the outside. I feel like that's okay. So there you have it. That's another video editing tip. And if you enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you'd like. And if you want to learn more about video editing, check out the Fronos Photo Guide to Video Editing. I teamed up with Jared Poland to create a nine hour guide about all things video editing, and it's pretty cool. The link is in the description, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.